This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so today's topic is about classes and objects. Okay. 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 So in this topic, in this session, we'll be covering what is a definition of definition of class, what is the definition of method, and how to create objects. So first, what is a class? Okay, before going into what are classes and what are objects, we have a, a so there's one type of program called OOPS. So it's called object oriented programming. So in this type, it's a, it's actually based on classes and objects. So as I told you before, objects, everything generally, everything in the world are known as objects, right? A bag is known as object, a table is an object, a tree is an object, even a human is an object, right? Yeah. So even in Python also, all whatever we store data, all of them are known as objects. So uh, when we're doing programming, Python uh, follows some type of uh, programming structures. So one of them is OOPS. OOPS is object oriented program. So OOPS majorly has four pillars. First is abstraction, then is encapsulation, inheritance and meta uh, polymorphism. So I'll explain this uh, just briefly now. And when you're doing the practicals, you'll get to know more about it. I mean, you'll understand about it, okay? Okay. So, uh, okay, first, uh, what is a class? I'll just go to that first. So what are classes? Normally, what is a class? It's like a group of people, right? In a class, you have a group of people, isn't it? So uh, what can yeah. we say? A class is like a category. So this class is a category of people who learn Python, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Similarly, we have in school yeah. we can divide yeah. classes like uh, tenth class, ninth class, according to their age or whatever they're learning. Like that. So classes are like categories in which the object is divided into. Okay. So uh, in biology we have many classes, right? First, the main uh, class is like living things and non-living things. And then in living things, we have many classes, like we have mammals, we have reptiles, we have birds, and we have insects. Amphibian. And uh, again, in all of them, uh, each one is cla classified again. So these are known as classes. And whatever are stored in it are known as objects. Okay? Now we'll go to abstraction. What is abstraction? So abstraction is like the most topmost category in which they're listed. So say a person. A person is uh, listed as a living thing, okay? But if we go deeper into it, we can uh, divide him into an animal. And then inside an animal, we can say him as a mammal, right? This is the hierarchy of division. But abstraction is like, what is the topmost priority given, uh, given to him? So he's given a, a priority as a living thing, right? Yeah, okay. So yeah. it's like generalization of category in which it falls. And then encapsulation. So it's like a encapsulation. So in the word you can see capsule, right? Capsule means inside capsule will have uh, things together. So this means like we're grouping whatever the related functions or whatever the related things together. Okay. So in programming, we group the variables and functions. And then inheritance. So you might have uh, heard okay. the word inheritance, right? Like yeah. you'll get a uh, means inherited things yeah. from your parents. Like if your parents are tall, you are, you're also tall. Or uh, if your parents, uh, uh, yeah, if they have size, have black you hair, even you may get black hair. Yeah, yeah hair, hair color, like that. Skin color, some jeans. Of your features. Some of your features. Or you can say this also. Like you can uh, say the inheritance of animals. See, we all are uh, humans. That's why uh, their children are also, uh, our children are also humans, right? So that's also inheritance. And then we'll go to polymorphism. Polymorphism is like when we give a certain data, like till, till now you know, right, uh, we use many functions. And uh, yeah, so we use many functions. And in, uh, for using functions, we have parentheses, parentheses, right? Yeah. What? Don't we? Like we have a function length. length. Inside length, oh. we give some uh, argument, right? For yeah, length, we yeah. give a string name, or else we give a list oh. like that. So there yeah. are some functions which can take more than one argument. 
and act differently when uh, the number of arguments change. Like say we, we create a method as shape. And then uh, if we give only, uh, if we give three attributes, then say it will create a triangle. If we give four attributes, say it will create a square or rectangle. If you give five attributes, it will give uh, a pentagon. Poly, uh, pentagon. So like that. So according to the number of uh, arguments we uh, pass, the output will be different. Like that. So that is generally polymorphism. So you can remember it like this. Poly, poly means many, like polygons with the example, right? It's about shapes. So polygons. Okay. Uh, so now I'll just go into the programming. Okay, first creating a class. When we are going to create a class, like when you're defining a function, we use def, right? Def. Yeah. To define our yeah. function, we use def. Define. When we're creating a class, we use a, a command known as class. Okay. And then uh, the classes are divided into two things attributes and methods. Attributes are like the things which store the, uh, like, in functions, we use uh, A and B in the brackets, right? So th uh, those are the things like the variables which we'll, which we'll be using inside the function. The same goes here. Attributes are like the variables which we are going to use in the class, uh, in the methods which we are going to use. Methods are also known as functions. What are the functions we write normally? When they are going into a class, they are known as methods. Okay. Okay. So, uh, We'll go into the practicals. I'll save it as okay. I'll make a class about animals, okay? Animals. Dot people. So first to create a class, we need to start it with class, right? Yeah. And then the name of the class. So animals. Okay. And then uh, first, we'll just uh, na uh, give a method for it without any attributes. So let me say animals can move. So what are methods and what are attributes? Attributes are like describes them. So uh, say animal. Animal can be like it can be large, it can be small, it can be tiny. So those are the attributes. Yeah, they can be mammals, reptiles, and all. So all the things which describe about the class are known as attributes. And then the, uh, it comes to behavior. Behavior is about methods. So what are the uh, functions which mammals can do, uh, animals can do? Like they can move, they can uh, respond to us, right? They can, they eat. So these are some types of yeah. behaviors. So I'll define okay. a behavior. Uh, behaviors in the sense methods okay so this and then let me say uh plus move and here defining a method is same as defining a function and the only difference is that when whenever we're defining something in a class we have to make sure self is placed inside this why uh, so okay i'll explain about that afterwards uh, self is, is must when you're uh, defining a method here. Uh, when we go into this, uh, you'll get to know, okay? So say, um, I'll give a function as this. Print. You have no. Okay? So when we uh, use the move function to print, you have move. So first, uh, to know about classes, we'll uh, just do a small example in the ID before before executing this. So I'll go to Python. And here, let me say x is equal to 10. So what type is it? Integer. Integer, right? So x. now I'll type x. So what is it saying here? Class integer. So it's saying that x is in the class integer. Did yeah. You get it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Is equal to say hi. Now it's a string, right? Class yeah. Type. Now I'll type x. Type okay. of this is class string. Okay. 
the gorgeous stuff now right so uh, let yeah, me define yeah. this. i'll say x is equal to uh, string we can use this also string of this it will give the same thing i i hope so let's see type of x we got the string okay so now we will define it like this here we use string because the class is string our class is animals right yeah so now yeah whenever we want to use classes we have to assign a name like uh, without knowing we can't use x right we have to define x first we have to say that x is a x is in the class string so i'll take a animal elephant okay elephant it is in the class animals so animals now i'll print the type uh, type of animal, animal. Yeah, type of elephant animal so we'll see Okay, see now it says main dot animals. So uh, yesterday we talked about underscore underscore name, right? So that yeah, will come yeah. first. So it will tell where we are using it. If we use, if we make this as a module and use it in a different function, in a different program, then it won't. Uh, then it will say it won't uh, animal dot animal because this program is na uh, named as animal. So it will say animal dot animals. Okay. This is our main program. That's why it's saying main. Are you with me? Did you understand? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Understood, right? Okay. So now we'll try the uh, function. We'll try the method with it. So elephant dot move. Okay. Now we'll see what will happen. You have moved, yeah. you have moved. That means it is executing this function under the class. Okay. okay. Uh, so now I'll give some attributes. So let me say, uh, what are the general attributes for animals? We can say mammals or like that, right? Mammals, reptiles. We'll give a name to, we'll give a name to the animal, okay? Okay. So we'll say diff, and then whenever we are giving attributes, we have to use this in it. So what is this? It's a magical function, right? Yeah. Okay. I have yeah. to double underscore. So this init will work automatically. And inside this, we have self. We should not forget about self. Okay, I'll just show you what will happen if I don't keep self, okay? So this means that whenever you're right, you're defining any method or function inside a class, you always need to put self inside the round brackets. Yeah, you always need to keep self. Uh, and I'll, uh, okay, we are, let's show it over here then. Before this, I'll take out self over here. And before it worked, right, give us, you have moved. We'll see what happened now. It'll give us a number because it says it takes zero position arguments, but it is given one. But here we did, we actually did not give any argument, right? Inside elephant yeah. dot move, we didn't give any argument. So what is yeah. the argument which okay, I'll show you that. So we can execute this like this uh, in this way, like elephant dot move, or else you can say the same thing like this animals dot uh, move. Now inside this, we have to write what has to move. So we have to move the elephant. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think anything is saved as animal. Animals here. It says move. You have yeah. moved twice because one time it's running this one, and then second time it's running this one. Yeah. Right. So, okay. So what is this doing? So, uh, it is taking this, whatever we have uh, given the name before. Uh, dot move inside the brackets right this is happening due to self 
So when our self is placed there, then only we can do this action. Did you get it? So it is automatically yes. taking this inside the bracket. So, okay, let me define another animal like this. Say, giraffe, or else uh, let me take zebra. Okay, zebra is called to animal. It's in the class of animal, okay? Uh, we don't need this, I'll take out this. And I'll keep it like this. Uh, zebra. That move. First, I'll keep print. This is a Z. okay for our understanding, right? Yeah, print. This is for elephant. This is for zebra, you have more. This is for elephant, you have more, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll define a attribute here named uh, to give the name of the animal. So for pets, you give names, right? Yeah, yeah. like. You give names for pets, right? So like that. Yeah. So I'll define. Uh, so to define variables, you have to use this in it. I had already missed. And then we have to keep self. And then what are the attributes you want to use? We have to give it over here. So now we want to use name as the attribute. Okay. And then inside this, we have to write dot name is equal to name. Huh? I don't understand. Uh, so it's like whatever value we are giving inside the name, like uh, over here, we will give one value over here. We'll say the name as lucky. Okay. So this is taken as attribute, right? So name will be equal to lucky. Did you get me now? Name will be equal to lucky. Okay, yeah, yeah. Got it. So self dot name has to be equal to lucky. Yeah, yeah. Use Se this uh, so that we can use this is, self dot name is acting like a variable, right? Yeah. So now but we isn't can it self comma name? So you're defining two different variables in that. So you're defining two different variables. Yeah, you can uh, take it like that. So now if you wanted to uh, say it like this, here we told uh, instead of using this print statement, I'll take the name of it, okay? I'll decode this. And we'll give a name to this also. For zebra, we'll give uh, uh, Snoopy. Okay, Snowy is the name of zebra and Lucky is the name of elephant. Okay. Okay. Now here, I will keep self dot name. Come. Why? So now what will happen? The name will be printed over here first, right? Okay. So to use the to use this attribute everywhere in our program, we have to use self dot name. Like we have to define self dot name over here first. Okay. Now we'll see what will happen. This is for elephant. Okay, we'll take out this. Done. Oh. See. So okay, we, have yeah, more. More we have more. We have more. Lucky have more. Zebra first. First we took zebra as more, and then and uh, elephant more, right? No, uh, zebra is known as Snoopy, and elephant is known as Lucky. That's why. So this is how you define an attribute, and this is how you define a method. Defining method is easy. It's like same as defining a function, but defining a attribute can only be worked when init is there. So uh, what did I tell you? What are uh, magical functions? Do you remember? Do you remember the definition of magical functions? The things which have double underscore. Yeah, but what what do they do? Why are they named as magical? Because they can because they, they can be written, change the function. They can be written without like the uh, add double underscore. They can be written normally also without oh, another like, function. Uh, 
they are called automatically right yeah, yeah they so can act did not like call it like by themselves see we did not call it like this right we didn't say elephant dot move like we didn't say elephant dot in it right we call it directly over here they can act by themselves yeah they can act by themselves so whenever the whenever we eat the class animals they come automatically they act automatically on the class Okay. Over here. First, we are defining the attributes over here. And then we are giving the method. And then this is how we use the the method we have created. Here, how are we using? It? Here, I gave two attributes: name and age. Okay. So say P1 has the name Raghav and his age is 16. Okay, now if I say print P1 dot name, what will I get? Okay, we'll say print P1 dot name. Elephant. Here we have elephant and zebra, right? Elephant dot name. Okay. He comes slow. Slow flyer. Uh, yeah, it came over here. Lucky. Oh, lucky, yeah. So, okay, we defined over there, right? That's right. It's lucky, and zebra is snowy, uh, right? We keep it again. Uh, we'll try it for zebra now. Print zebra dot name. Okay, now if you observe here, I'm not giving the brackets like this, right? I'm not giving this brackets. I'm not giving a character for name. Can you see? Yeah. yeah. See, uh, why is that? That is because name is not a function, it's an attribute. Right? So we got Lucky and Snowfy. Snowfy, you have more. Lucky, you have more. Like that. Raghav, on the keyboard, what do you need to like press for uh, to make the program run? Right click and uh, run the program. This only. Also, you can use this over here. Yeah, but for that, we need to download the extension, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. So. First, I have p1 dot name. Name is Raghav. Then p1 dot age. Age is 16. Then what is move? It will say self dot name just move. So Raghav just move. Okay. This is how we got it. Start in here. Okay. What is inheritance? Right. What is inheritance? I discussed it. Right. What is inheritance? Yeah, passing of some attributes from one class to other class. Another class. Yeah, like from yeah. one thing. So to we have similar uh, behaviors of the parent and child, right? Yeah. So here, this is I think this is the parent one. So this is the parent. And then now I'll create a, a child class known as person. To make it a uh, uh, so specify that it's the child of animals, we have to give animals the bracket. Okay. And here uh, we we'll give the attributes uh, age. So we'll give the attributes age. So I'll just Underscore underscore in it. Underscore underscore. So that's self. And then age. Now I'll say self dot age is equal to age. So you're printing the age here. No, I'm just giving the variable whatever value is there stored in age as self yeah, dot like age. 
I'm telling like for the class animals you are doing with for a name. We are from for yeah. the age. Yeah, here I'm taking the attribute age. Okay. Uh, after this, what else? I will define the uh, behavior as thinking because mainly humans can only think, right? No other animals yeah. can do things like as much as us. And then here I will say you are thinking. thinking. Define. Now I'll take out the self dot name. So um what can a person do? He can think, he can move. He can also move, right? Yeah. yeah. Keep self here. Okay. So um, now what is this person is a child of animal. Even animals can move, person can also move, right? Now let's try first. I'll just try a method with person. So I'll define a person rather. It's called a person with age 16. Okay. And then I'll uh, use the method. Thinking. So rather thinking. Okay. Okay. We got you. Are thinking. We got all. Now it's good. I got your thing. He did not define anything as move, right? Inside the class person. They define anything as move over here inside the class person. No, no. No, right? Now I'll try the dot. Now will it give me an error or will it uh, is it correct? Error. error? Okay. We got you have mode. Now, why did I get either? That is because we have said that person kind of animal. So, whatever animal can yeah, do, be, even person can do that. It will already have the things which the animals had. It will already have the attributes and methods. It has said some animals itself. So, the use of this is that whenever you're writing programming, here we don't need to write the same functions again and again for the different classes, right? We can just say that. Uh, it has inherited this function or this third from man. We have a got move method from animal to person. So that is about inherit. Okay. okay. Let's see what I did over here. Oh yeah, I did the same same thing almost. So I have uh, okay here I also added, added the attribute over here. I took steps. I took steps as the attribute and here I'll say percentage D. Do you remember why you use percentage S before? Why? Percentage S space to make an empty space. space which can be like filled. Not empty space. It will uh, give us like uh, if I type some more code over here. You have mode. Okay. Yes. I write it like this. A value which is not yeah. entered. I'll give uh, steps over here because steps is a variable, right? From here, yeah. step is a variable. And here I'll say move 10. Now we'll see what will happen. It got you have more 10 steps. So what is it doing here? Percentage D, uh, it will uh, it acts as it will replace whatever zero over here into this. And D signifies for decimal. Uh, yeah, decimal, decimal. So decimal is for uh, like we can uh, take any numeric things. If it is a string, 
we have to use percentages percentages okay, which okay. okay but here we are using numbers okay. that's why i'm using percentage b okay 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 um uh, okay so that's about animals i mean at this so let let's take another example let me uh, take it like this let's save this program create a new program so i'll take an example as computers Okay. 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 So I'll create a class over here. Class name is computer. And then inside the computer, I will give some attributes. So okay. this. Underscore underscore event. Self. Self. Come on. So what? What do we mainly check in a computer? We check for the RAM, right? So I keep yeah, RAM. Yes. And then uh, storage. Uh, storage will come under RAM. What else? Windows. After. Windows. Hard disk. Okay. Hard OS. Disk. OS. Applications. Hard. Applications. Applications you can install later, right? Company, uh, company. Yeah, brand. Brand. Yeah. We'll take this, and then after this, we'll say, yeah, we have to use this self. Dot random. Self got RAM. It's got a RAM. RAM. And then self dot. Self L dot RAM. OS is equal to project OS. And then self dot brand is equal to brand. Okay. Okay, now I will say define specifications. Here I'll use the attributes. I use all the attributes here. Okay. Okay. Now, OS brand. So we don't need to call them over here. We can use it directly because these are already defined over here, right? Yeah. We have already defined it over here, so we don't need to call them again over here. In the so here, I'll say, and your um, computer has in this so. Um, comma, what? Comma, brand. Now, first, I will take a computer name as comma. Comma is equal to the specific class, right? In the class, uh, and we have to give the the which is here. So it has one key RAM, and then uh, OS is Windows. And then that is there. Now we'll uh, take the method. This is, uh, um, 
Oh yeah, we have to give the RAM, right? That defined as right? self dot versus OS. So how do you use it like that? Self dot brand. For everything, we have to keep the self, right? Yeah. Okay, no, it's not that specific. So now we can use it like this. Okay. Percentage. So this I'm saying. What is TB? After that, what is TB? What is TB? Terabyte, right? Oh, okay. And what is it? Operating system. Then percentage is Percentage here. Then percentage here. I will try. Why it's in Hmm. What is it? Some problem. Okay. But I'll just take this as also as a string. And give it in, and here we'll give it as a string over here. So, so that everything is a string. We will try. Raga, I lost my internet connection. Can you repeat what you said? Like what you did? Yeah, you can. You can just see what I'm doing. Oh, okay. That's why. Okay, also I'll do it differently. So there's another way. You can use format over here. There's a function known as format. So for using that, we have to use this braces. And then here, we have to use format graphics. No, not working. Most cool arguments. Hmm. I think format accepts only two arguments, right? Yeah, I can see that. Try only RAM and OS, remove brand. Oh, okay, we'll try. Remove brand over there also, like near the curly braces. Yeah, you want. Okay, oh, you're saying here. Yeah. 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 Actually, not the syntax. No, it's not mm. working. Let's see, we done the value. Format, format, vector, false, to application, feature, format, specification. Like, go to the go to IDE in the terminal and type Python help. Format. 
Saying there is nothing called format. Dial. So, same thing said over there. Uh, we will see that. <laughs> what can be it? Just um, this. Say this as A, B, C. A. Like you can delete that brand, the whole thing, right? Because we don't have brand in the format. B plus. Like you are naming the format. Okay, so the mistake here is comma. We should not use a comma after this. Okay. Okay, just take out the comma and works. Oh, okay. So here we got it right. We have specifications: one DB RAM, one DB uh, RAM, and then Windows is of Windows operating system and Dell brand. So that. And then. Uh, okay. What else can we do with this? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much we can do with the uh, classes. So, yeah, I'll explain why this now we're using this classes. Okay, let's go to this one. So, now what do we have here? We have the parent class as animals, and then inside that, we have the child class as a person, right? Now, if I talk about Raghav, Raghav is a object. The object is created as a name Raghav, okay, and the class person. But if you use abstraction, so it is generalizing Raghav as an animal, right? Because it's like a uh, child, like person is taken as a child of it, or else animal is a parent class. Yeah, of, because sorry, person is a the part of, of animal. Yeah. yeah. If you uh, take it like. Uh, uh, if you take something like a flow chart, first animals will be there in the hierarchy. That will go to a person, right? Oh, you can also add it to BS code. No, this is in a go to meeting. So over here, oh. Raghav is part of person, but person is part of animal. So abstractions is like the most uh, highest position. Highest position is animal, right? So we can take that as an abstraction. And then we'll do this, we'll see. Encapsulation. Okay, encapsulation is about 
group in related variables and functions together. Yeah. So variables which we are going to use, like name and then we have age. I can keep age here also, right? Inside this, I can uh, use the attribute age also. So what are we doing here? We are uh, taking all the variables which we are going to use inside this class at one place. And all the methods we are uh, going to use over here. So that is called encapsulation. That means whatever you want to do with animals, you are keeping everything uh, like uh, everything, uh, all the data in one place known as the class animals. Like that. And then inheritance, we have discussed it, right? Over here. Sorry, over here. Okay. Uh, like this, we can use move function even for Raga. Whereas Raga is not in the class, uh, like he's not directly linked with the class animals. So it's like we're inheriting the feature from animals because it is a child, a uh, person is a child from animal. Oh, okay. Like a king, king uh, inherits, inherits the king the king thing from his father yeah so you can take a simple example like if your father and mother is tall uh, he has a feature tall then most probably you also grow taller right that's a feature mm -hmm. the same thing uh, your uh, your parents can move even you can every uh, so under this class animals we have a child class so whatever the animal can do even person can also do that like that it's a simple example so let me create more classes like this let me take the class uh elephant and then i'll not give anything over here so uh one thing you have to remember in python you cannot leave anything empty like even if you're using a small if fun if command you can't leave it empty you have to give some or the other command if you want to leave it empty you yeah, but you want to compare something, then you can use this pass. So what will pass do is that, like it will allow, it will say Python that I will do some statement afterwards, like that. So here for Albert, okay. uh, for now, I'm not going to give anything. And create, create another class. And uh, wait, I'll say that elephant is a class of animals. So it's a child class from of animals. And then I'll take another class as the say tiger. Okay, or else we'll take cat. I'll pass it so and then I'll create another class as tiger. And we all know that tigers are so tiger will be in cats. 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 And cats are in the family of animals. So what there are key what are animals can do, even cats can do that. And what are cats can do, even tiger can do that. But everything which tiger can do, cats they can't do that, right? So tiger can roar, but yeah, okay. cats can't roar. And cats can meow, but all animals cannot meow, right? Like that. Yeah. So it's a simple example. Uh, let me say. Uh, so we'll define a function like this. What can cats and tigers do? Mm -hmm. Eating all animals. Both uh, are carnivores. Both are carnivores. Okay, yeah, carnivores. So we'll say. The like cat is an omnivore also, right? Okay, we'll say hunt. Hunt. Yeah, oh, okay, hunt. hunt. Like a uh, cat will hunt for uh, rats, right? We'll say hunt. And we'll give uh, this. Now, actually, cats were carnivores, but after coming to human habitat, they became omnivores. Yeah, right. That's fine. But okay. So here, what do we know? All animals move, right? So yeah. will this work if I use a function over here? Move. Will it work? Self got no sorry. Will it work? Yeah, it should. Yeah, it should but, work because yeah, it should work because I'm a uh, cat. Like it's inherited from this one, right? So it can uh, work. Say hunting. We have to move first, right? For hunting. So I'll give some uh, move for ten times. So I'll use a loop over here. 
I'll say. Repeat. Okay. Okay. Space bar. You miss the space bar. I am Winston. We'll move first and then we'll say print. I. You have got you are free. Is that free? Yeah, it is free. Uh, with, can... with dash steps. With I steps. No, we are not using steps over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, we are using it. So, yeah, that's uh, fine, I guess. We have to... We will give steps together. We set them. Well, so, we'll say one only because the inverse is running for 10 times, right? Yeah. I want it like this. After 10 steps, it has to print this. So I'll take out this indentation over here. And then we'll see what only tigers can do. Tigers can roar. So diff roar. And we'll just give us some. Print. Print. Uh, okay. Now we'll try the statements. So first I'll say I'll name a cat as say a cat's name. Fluffy. Fluffy. Okay. Fluffy is a cat. Sorry, is in the carrier cats, and then stay a tiger. Uh, Avni the tiger. What? Avni, it was a great tiger. Yeah? Avni, okay. Yeah, A V A V and I. Avni, okay. Avni. Yeah. It was a real tiger name. <laughs> tiger. Okay. Is she your sister, Avni? She is my sister, but there's also a tiger named Avni, which was a very okay. great one. Okay, so you're saying your sister is a tiger? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll use this over here now. First, we'll try what tiger can Avni dot draw. Right? First, we'll try this. Just take out this. And say print. Print. Apni is going to draw. draw. Missing one required uh, argument yeah. name. Okay, we gave the name over here, I guess. In the animals. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. We didn't give it to. So, try. Wait. Okay, we'll try to give a name over here and we'll see. Also, take, just take out this name. Now we're not using it, right? Just take it out. Check out the unintents. Okay. Um, did you forget something over here? Uh, we uh, yeah, we forgot to keep self. See, that's why I told self is important. Or else we get a error. Um, we got Avni is going to roar uh, and then roar. Okay, now I'll try something which cats can do. So, Avni dot, what can cat do? 
meow eat fish hunt we have the function of hunt annoy right? people <laughs> okay but here we can we defined only hunt right if we if we yeah. would have defined annoy people it will come but here we defined only hunt we'll try and then yeah that's it first you have, you have one, one, one step one. you have one step and you have got got you the play got your play okay oh so very nice yeah hunting. like it moved some 10 steps and got its prey wow nice. okay now we'll try this can you make it a really good you using you have more one step for everything this is your homework okay take it as your homework try printing okay. you have more one step than two steps and three steps like that okay okay so like easy, yes, yeah. change the small thing okay use for, for loop then use for loop so then for loop right see it's very easy the answer is all right here if you yeah, see like, properly yeah. you can we have to use a for loop loop for loop just like for loop and change the self to i like or make some edit in self to i yeah. that's the answer that's good it keep i over here but again you are leaking the answer <laughs> that's why not you just see what happened see we got it right we are more zero steps 1 and then you got you got it got it and then now i'll try something which all animals have animals can move right Four. yeah move then you have to get number of c okay man tell me here so say i move for oops so i'm uh, five uh, okay for uh, fluffy Fluffy dot move. Okay. Oh, hundred steps. Hundred. No, no, no. no. Ah. More five steps. Here, more ten. Hundred steps. Now I'll try fluffy dot roar. Will it work? Yeah, it will. It will. It will. I guess. Fluffy is a no, cat. No. Yeah, it's fluffy is a cat. We only defined it for tigers. We only defined it for tigers. What did I tell oh. you? Whatever the things cats can do, tigers can do. But whatever the things tigers can do, cats cannot do that, right? Okay, yeah. So yeah. you have tigers. to like define that roar in cats. Define roar in cats. Yeah, I'll yeah, I'll roar, roar in cats. cats then we can do. But cats can't roar, right? So that's why we're defining roar in cats. Define meow in tiger. Squares are polygons, but all polygons are not squares. What? Ashish? Squares are polygons, but not all polygons are squares. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Squares are polygons, but all polygons are not squares, right? Yeah, same thing. Okay, so that's about today's session. And you guys uh, had some doubts, right? We'll yeah. yeah. Doubts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, present share the screen. I share. Uh, I will share the screen second. I'll make everything clear. Okay. If your doubt is cleared in this, uh, I hope you don't need to share your screen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's at like here. So first you're defining balance view. Yes. Fine. So what is the problem the you, you got here? So the problem is like I want to use this variable balance outside it, but that doesn't work. So you have to uh, you told return, but you didn't say what you return, right? Yeah. So like should I have to use again brackets and define no, after return balance? Return, just write return space bar balance. That's it. That's it. And then, okay. uh, or else you can do one thing. Uh, instead of taking the input statements inside the, uh, okay, no, no, no. use this one. It's fine. So 
wait, wait, wait. You don't have balance. Return, what return will do is that whatever the variable you want to return from the function, like you have a variable balance in the function, that's why you can balance return balance. You can return balance from deposit, right? Yeah, you have to you have to do okay. return deposit. You have to do return deposit. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. So let me just check it. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, continue. I'll see what. Shows a warning. No, it okay, says still balance is not defined. Yeah, once go one go to the program. So over here, you uh, in this uh, deposit. Why did you take a why did you take a bracket like uh, here in the input? How much money do you want to deposit in your account, right? After that, why did you answer over here? Here. Yeah. Deposit plus, deposit plus, deposit plus. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, like, how much money do you want? Uh, your account of like balance, that much amount. Well, I didn't get it. Can you repeat? So like uh, here, how much money do you want to deposit in your account of balance rupees? Like first you like set the how much yeah. balance you want in your account. So that and should come what is the balance yeah what it should balance? show what's the balance okay uh you uh, instead of using this use it like this uh, use the percentage d maybe that's giving you a, a, an error there space bar percentage b percentage oh Okay. And then outside the, the uh, like string, outside the string or inside the string? Yeah, outside outside the string, right? No, just keep percentage over there. After the um, what is that? First of key. Okay. Percentage. And take out the brackets for balance. Yeah. And do the same thing for withdrawal. One more thing, here you didn't give water return, right? And deposit and withdrawal. Yeah. So like I've uh, defined balance change plus balance. Okay. So, so like uh, in the main program, where is your main program from this right? Didn't uh, that is that. That I wanted is balance outside. Now if it is outside, that like can I use it in both deposit and withdrawal? What what do you want to use in both uh, deposit and withdrawal balance? Right? Like this balance, this balance here. Yeah. Okay. So first you take a attribute uh, balance and deposit. In the brackets you define a balance as a attribute. In the brackets you have deposit uh, when you're defining it, right? You you have diff and then yeah, deposit. Yeah here. Yeah here in deposit. Huh yeah. Diff deposit and in, inside the brackets. Yeah. Right balance. Oh, that Same means you're done. keeping a variable from outside your uh, function. Okay, okay. So let's and then here, it. in the main program after balance view. Hmm? After in the main program after balance view. Oh, here. Yeah. Just click enter there. Yeah, and here, uh, right? Um, okay, instead of this, uh, yeah, for balance view, uh, just save uh, this. Balance is called balance view. Is equal to balance view. And then 
deposit and withdrawal uh, when you're doing over here in the if conditions. Sorry, your voice is breaking. Inside the if conditions, you have what is equal to equal to yeah. one, right? There in the def, uh, mm. deposit, you keep balance again. Okay. In deposit and withdrawal. And one more thing, uh, here you are taking balance as input, right? Yeah. Just take out the statement and keep that in the main program because we only want it once. Or else whenever you run balance, you will ask, ask you for the balance, right? Okay, okay. And uh, one more thing, why did you keep this uh, if statements? Over here. Like deposit, uh, do you want to deposit it or what? In uh, define balance, balance view. Starting. You have if balance equal to equal to zero or uh, equal to equal to. Um, no, like because if the types are any number, then that's why I kept a condition like that. If they type yeah, any number, then the bank, right? it's a bank balance. You can have any. It's your like it's what they earn. It can be any number, right? You don't need to have okay. those statements. I guess. Okay. So I'll just set it like that. Uh, take out under the number. Till here, right? And then okay. over here inside balance, you take a uh, take this also, right? Balance there also in diff balance. Okay. Look at this thing. Yeah, in the starting only, right? Okay. Across that. Okay. Over here, if you the, uh, give what to take as balance, right? In the main program. If we have balance. Yeah, balance here. For, uh, yes, give the variable balance also. Yeah. Here. Here. Yeah. It's inside balance. Inside the brackets, give the variable balance. And even and here, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Right thank you. Wait, wait, Prajan, try deposit. No, like I've not coded it yet. I've not coded it yet. I need to code that. Like, it's all done. Okay, you want, you had to add it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Prajan? After adding there, write the return value of something. Take a variable. So over here, uh, yeah, like, by... you write, uh, yeah, you just take the deposit, uh, deposit plus, and then plus balance. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then in the return, you take yeah, like balance. This. Yeah. You have to Pradhyan, yeah, fine. Pradhyan in the last the if condition. Yeah, in that in the L mm -hmm. L if yeah over there, like uh, L if uh, what is equals to is equal yeah. to okay. Yeah. yeah. So you need to break it. That's what that's my thing. Yeah, here I'll break it, yeah. No, not over there. Sorry. Like put another condi condition elif what double is equals to four and then uh, break. No, I've just okay, put else, four, right? You, you get four conditions present, right? You have one deposit yeah. money, two withdraw, three your ba balance, and then fourth one you said exit. He's saying for exit. If what uh, equal to equal to four, 
no still like even if the type exit even if the type exit will be taken as else so i took it in that then logic they then they don't they don't need uh, try again right okay still if, if... then take out that uh, print uh, okay so to okay. fine okay okay you continue this might might it have end out yeah Need the share screen or right? Oh, here I made the bank dot py. Okay. So when I go okay, to test math. it or wait, uh, you don't need to import math there. Okay. So when I go to test in the bank dot Test py. Uh, it uh, it tells that some define withdraw invalid syntax. Uh, okay. It tells that it invalid syntax. Raghav, Raghav, even okay, my uh, program is also did the same. Okay. Go to bank by once. Save it. Did you see the program? Yeah. Sorry. Save the yeah. Did you save the program? Save it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Save it again now. Again. Yeah. See, you're getting a wildcard dot right. Not like that. Not like that. Just click Control S. Okay. Control S. See, now you can see the dot over there uh, gone right in the tab. Bank dot try. Yeah. Yeah. Not there. Above that, you have bank dot dot by over again, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you do not save your program, you'll get a white color dot over there instead of the X. Okay. You get a white color dot. Okay. Now you try it. Okay. Yeah, got it. Got it, right? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, one minute. One minute. You got some syntax error also, right? Once uh, okay. run it again. Once run okay. it again. I got it right. Okay, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, now you write some statements like Pradyan, right? You have to like, improvise uh, your uh, program so that the user can understand. Take inputs like from the user. Like what? Take do inputs you mean? from oh. the user. Okay, okay. Okay, and then uh, yeah, like you saw how Pradyan did, right? Yeah, yeah, like, like, okay. I'll, 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 you know why I didn't use break in that because, like, I have used if, like, outside the uh, loop. That's why it couldn't break out of the loop. That's why it put the try again. Okay. Okay, Ashit, do you have any doubts? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that. Raga, like, can I send the home screenshot of the homework tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Is there any homework Raga, today? Can you hear? Yeah, yeah, I will share your homework. Okay. Like, wait, can wait, you Raga, can you hear? Yeah. No, Ashita, I'm not able to see your homework. Uh, seriously. One minute, Ashita, just explain like your homework. Not... One minute, I just explain oh, your homework. So first, we have fine. to create a. One, two, three. You have four questions. First we cannot question see your screen. Raga, we cannot see your screen. Please share your screen. So first you have four questions. In the first question, you have to create a, a class named as vehicles. And in vehicles, you have to add attributes as color and model. Color okay. and model. Okay. Like what so we did with is, uh, like what we do tiger and a cat roar and meow thing. No, those are function methods. I said attributes. Like we we got the name and age right starting. Yeah. We have to use in it. Okay, okay. We have got to use it. In inside that you have to use color and model. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then uh, so take some inputs from the user and then uh, use it. Okay. 
Okay. And and then uh, okay, I'll improve this. Okay. After that, create some two more classes. Child classes, okay. Okay. Is this is this in VS or IDE? You do it in VS if you if VS code is working now. Okay. Mine's working great. Right? Yeah. So create a child class known as two wheeler. Or it's two bike. Wheeler. Bike and then car. Um uh, car, okay. Bikes and then cars. Uh, Okay. What is shape like shape thing? Create shape class. Yeah, this is the second question. And, uh, try to add some methods for uh, cars and bikes. Okay. So for say for bikes, what methods do you have in bikes? Engine. Or uh, uh, engine Sporty. engine starting. Engine start. Engine starting. Engine. Uh, Kickstart. In car you can use yeah. gear, but in Scooty you don't have gears. In car you have gears, but in Scooty you don't have gears. So you yeah, can take that uh, uh, that uh, as a difference. And then okay, uh, like show, some, so, uh, show me some uh, methods which, uh, which you can add to this and get some output out, uh, out of this. Okay, okay. okay. Like Rago, when we in a in the VS code, when we give the input statement, should we do the input in the terminal? Yeah, you will get the input in the terminal. Okay, like should we type the input in a terminal? Yeah, see, I'll show you. Say x is equal to input your name. I okay, see. I can write high. And you, and you have to type there, right? Yeah, we can type over here, right? Can you see me? I, yeah, yeah. I am Rago. Like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then the second one is that create a class named as shape. And then inside that, take the number of sides as attribute. Okay. And then create some more classes that uh, triangle, rectangle, uh, yeah, triangle, and, rectangle, and, and pentagon. Okay, say uh, pentagon. Okay. And then and for class, take the perimeter and area. I want like two the... methods perimeter and area. Okay, okay, so you have to take the input from the user and uh, do then do the calculations. Yeah, take the input from the user. Yeah, length and breadth from the user. Yeah, for rectangle you have to take length and width. For triangle you have to take all the three sides. Right? Yeah. For perimeter all the three sides and area you know. Do you know how to calculate yeah. area? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then third one. Create a class student with your own attributes. So your attributes can be like name, roll number. Raga. Uh, and yeah. I just had a doubt like we know how to use equal to what if we want to show yeah. not equal to not equal to equal to and a slash I guess. See if uh, uh, let me take this. What can I say? Okay, Abni. Yes. Some random thing. Okay, what else I take this? I'll take a variable x is equal to 10. If x is equal, if x not equal to 10. And then here I'll say if x not equal to 10, not equal to like this. Exclamation mark and then equal. Okay. Okay, okay. Anywhere okay. any programming languages, exclamation means okay. not. It's not equal to 10. Print. Okay. Say hi. Else. Right. Print. You are ten. 
see we got you are 10 because x is equal to 10 now if i take x is equal to 5 yeah. or 1 i got high Okay, now the third one is that create a stu uh, class student with your own attributes and with your own methods. And uh, see, see to that it's useful so that you can use it in any other programs which you make for them. Uh, then uh, create a employee uh, class with the attributes emp ID, that means employee ID, name, salary, and make salary as private. Okay. Uh, you explore what is known as private uh, variables in class. You have to know what is a private variable in class. So I forgot to tell you about one thing. So over here, I can define something over here. I can define variables over here also. Instead of using init, say I give it over here. Let me take a variable as name. Name is equal to Raghav. So it's like universal for any any person the name will automatically be Raghav. It won't change according to uh, according to the person's input over here. And so it's like a default value. We can change it. Okay. Is it clear to you? Yeah. Nice. I didn't understand. I didn't understand. Like. So here. Before the diff, this is the diff, right? Before the diff, I'm uh, taking a variable no named as uh, name and I'm giving the value stored as uh, Raghav. So it's a public variable. That means every everyone can see this variable, but they can't edit it. Like it's protected or something like that. Okay, yeah? okay. So there's another type known as private. I want you to know what uh, I want you. I want you guys to explore private variables in class and how to make them. Okay. 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 Explore. Private. Private in class. Variable in class. Classes. You need to give a space no. for uh, in between explore and private. So, do private variables mean inside a method or inside a function? Like just asking. Yeah, they will uh, be inside a class, I guess. Okay. And so I guess we'll explore. Use, yeah. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can be. Will... Used. Yeah, you guys have to explore that. Okay. Fine. Fine. So, yeah. And then, okay, yeah, Ashit, you are out. Yeah. Like, could I even like share from the camera? Are you using a phone or are you using a phone? One? I'm using, using a phone, phone now to connect. Okay, yeah. I'll just open your uh, video. Yeah, I, camera I shared it. Could you see? So on your video? Oh, wait, I Record a screen sharing, guys, right? Yeah, you can see it. Can you? Uh, like Raghav, can I leave now? Yeah, you can leave. Bye bye, guys. Ask you to uh, your camera. Yeah, what? Can you bye, tilt guys. it to the other side? Other side. It's coming. Uh... Raghav, my like my up. thing is still showing an error. It is telling that it has to add up a string and an integer. Okay, maybe you added a string and an integer somewhere. Check properly. Ashita, can you connect with your laptop? Like uh, no, I can't right now. Uh, like it's not clear. Or else uh, just... Uh, okay, what is your uh, error? What did you get as error as? No, like it is showing... Uh, uh, like Whatever I write, it is like coming... It is not... Uh, Recognized. Okay. Show me your main program. Main one. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, and you did not save yours, right? That maybe that's a problem. You didn't save yours. I can see that white dot over there. 
I saved it now. I'll run it. Did you save that program? Yeah, I saved it. Okay. Run the main program. Yeah. But then it is coming like uh, uh, Python is not uh, recognized as an internal or external command operable a program or batch file. Can you show me that? Yeah. Just till the phone, till the phone. Mm, yeah, fine. Hmm. I'll just take a picture and send it to me, right? I can't. It's not clear. Yeah, fine, fine. So did you get yours? Oh, not yet, Raghav. Hmm. Can we just check it once more? Raghav, I sent it in the group. Raghav, can you just check once more? Just once more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ashat, you send me the pictures in the group. Like, we'll communicate, we'll communicate in the group, right? Because you're, unless fine. you're not able to do the screen share, right? Yeah, fine. We'll communicate. I'll uh, send you messages. In the group. Okay. Okay, so where is your error coming, Kajun? I'll run it and show you once. So here it says how much money do you want? So I'm keeping it as 45. So now, do you want to deposit, uh, uh, withdraw, view, or exit? So I'm uh, typing as a deposit. So when I click one, how much money do you want to deposit in your account of 45? And I'm uh, like uh, putting it as 34. Now it shows an error. It stays like uh, it's an in integer and a string. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Show me that program. So like, should I set this to? Okay, yeah, yeah, the answer is there. See, over here, deposit, uh, yeah, when I, I told you, right, whenever you're taking an input, it will consider it so as a string. Set it to integer. So set it yeah, to integer, set the type to integer. Yeah, just convert it to into integer first. So okay. deposit plus is equal to? Deposit okay, yeah, my over there also. equals to int. Or else you can do one thing, uh, Prajun. Before the yeah. input, you can uh, keep int. Before you're uh, saying input, you can keep int there directly. After the equal to, yeah, int, and then bracket open, bracket open. And close it after the state okay, input is over. Okay. That will also work. Like this? Yeah. And do the same thing for the deposit plus also. Okay. Int. Ashit. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Ashit, yeah. Can you just yeah, type uh, Python and uh, Python the terminal and send a screenshot to me? 
in the terminal i should uh, type yeah in the terminal type type on and send the screenshot fine yes. okay we'll communicate in the group then yeah raga yeah, it's working thank you bye bye